Uh, Mike <laughs> Quinn, it's time. It's Monster Hunt. Time. Is it? And I can't. I Is can't. It? I can't believe uh, the sun god Okami uh, has been degraded to just be a, um, a sad dog that now has to follow. So yeah. dork around. No, Okami um, is not a sad dog. Okami is my Pelamute, and she's beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> and she's my best friend. Yeah. She helps. Without Okami, I would not be able to hunt monsters, to be honest. That's that's how... The sun would not wow. break. Oh. The sun would say. not break in this Sunbreak expansion. Um, yeah, right. the, the, oh, Okami is a video game, right? Yes, Okami is a video game. Another Capcom video okay. game. That, okay. Yeah, that's from years ago. Just yeah, making sure I got my references correct. They did free DLC mm -hmm. for Monster Hunter Rise, like somewhere in the middle there, and one of it was adding okay. the Okami skin for your Palamute, which I, of course, uh, got immediately and then never took off, so. Obviously. But we're not here for Okami, we're here for monster hunting. Um, yeah, welcome to the, the new location in Monster Hunter Sunbreak. I like the, uh, I'm, dig I'm digging the coastal sea vibes that was coast, like coast, coast vibes where we got here for sure yeah we got a little the dlc we got a ship our room is in the ship character's room excellent i love me some beaches my, house my housekeeper kitten uh, so love, he's yeah. very cute he's very, very yeah I like his uh, <laughs> like his glasses and everything mm -hmm. he definitely looks like a landlord is what i'll say yeah, yeah. So, i mean uh, well he's my uh, like he keeps it clean while I'm away, you know what I mean? So you, 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 please, please don't yell at this little cat to get, go get a real job, Quinn. Yeah, please. I mean, I will, because he <laughs> looks like, I mean, his real job yeah, is being a butler slash landlord. It's a, he's a housekeeper. But, he, yeah, he's, he doesn't own the house. He's probably under the landlord of the house, whoever the boat is. Yeah, it's my boat. So and, Alex. Any, anyway, me. anyway, Monster Hunter. Well, Alex needs a real job. Uh, it's, so, um, so this is the, we're playing, you're playing on the Switch version, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Alex, you've you've played so, yeah. you played a bunch of uh, the base game, but now the DLC is out. So yeah, what, how how you feeling so far? I'm feeling good. I the, the my only bummer so far is that there really hasn't been a lot of new monsters for me to hunt yet. I know that means okay. they're, they're saving them. You know, sure. Yeah. You kind of get into this stuff. You just have to you just have to you just have to kind of build up to him is more or less what you're saying yeah it seems mm -hmm. like it or like you know once you're kind of in the thick of it where it's just hunt after hunt after hunt i imagine that they want that to be new monster new monster new monster so they're kind of okay. sure. using the the kind of reimagined versions of the, the og monsters um like yeah pretty much everything here in, this is like the first round of quests you get are you know the yeah. Gumby, Great baggy. These are all in the original Monster Hunter Rise. They have some new things okay. that they'll do uh, in some instances, but for the most part, it's, it's familiar monsters. And then the first real one is this kind of hermit crab monster um, called oh. Daimyo Hermitar. Hermitar. Which sounds like a Soul Calibur character. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Um, like, I know. Like, I know. Daimyo is like a like a Japanese term for like. I don't know, I think I'm pretty sure it's Japanese. It's, I would assume it is because it's the, the mm -hmm. developers of Capcom. Uh, Daimyo, I know it's like a like a lord or like it's like a high high ranking in like a leadership uh, term. So that's it's probably like a lord hermit crab or something like Basically. that. Is what I'm guessing. It is basically a Lord Hermit Crab. The only other new one is that, that I've seen is the the blood orange Bashatin. Uh, um, that sounds really cool, and it looks yeah. really cool. But there was yeah, the original Bashatin in the okay. the the game that it's like a monkey with wings and okay. a big, big tail like a palm that like throws fruit. Okay. At you. Uh, okay. It's, it's a fun time. Nice. I'm not here to knock yeah. it. It's just like. The fire orange yeah, one it's, it's does like, that with explosives. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, 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 that's just, I just kind of see. I get it. Like, it's like, all right, I, I kind of so have this DLC to see some new stuff, and you really haven't yeah. got. I will hear some new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Per yeah. Se. Um, but so I like how one monkey throws shit at you, and the other's like, "Here's a bomb." Basically, they're like <laughs> pine cones that he sets on fire with his fire breath, and then they explode. <laughs> okay, that's really rad. He's cool. Oh, that's, that's he's he's definitely cool. That's fun. Um, but there's more than just new monsters, luckily. There's a lot more, yeah. which I was kind of surprised by. Okay. Um, first, okay. obviously, we got to eat. 
uh, before we go on. Get your meal on. There's a whole new. Get some buff. Is, is there like a new really good cooking? Yeah. Anime in here? Oh yeah. All right, okay. let's see. Let's see it. But there's I'm also ready. like a new mechanic with cooking, right? So the the dango is like from OG Monster Hunter Rise. They all have different okay. effects. You know, like fighter, which will take reduce stamina depletion from evading, blocking, yeah. other actions. Very useful for me because I use the switch axe, which we'll see a bit. Medic, heal yeah. more from healing items. Uh, and then we'll take like um if I hit the minus button, you'll see the skewer on the left is gonna change. And it's gonna change the oh. that um the dongo will activate. You can just keep it like even. I imagine I'll get more later on as well. I just have this one right now. Okay. Yeah. So it'll take the fighter and medic um, buffs that I get from the dongo up, but it will reduce the chance that they will activate. It's kind of like high risk. Ah. Um, okay. I haven't messed with it too That's much. That's But you can see that some of them it will not it'll it'll lower the the level the level of the buff mm -hmm. um but increase the chance it'll activate uh which can also be useful. okay yeah, yeah. That's different cool. skewers That's cool. affect different things way to way to sort of mid max the buffs you're getting from yeah. your from your meal prepare yourself kitties oh the train Drop it up. They really just said we're gonna fuck up some jello. Perfection. Excellent. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah, the first one was good, this one's better. Yeah, it's that that one's pretty good for sure. Yeah, that was excellent. Yeah, obviously Amaterasu. Eating up the dongo. Yeah. They're really yeah. into it. Uh, but now we're buffed. We got everything activated on that, so that's great. So, Buffed up and ready, ready to hunt. I I tried to get like a better armor set because there's like all new armor, whole new set of you know crafting materials. Just kind of like um in OG Monster Hunter games from going like from low rank to high rank, right? Where yeah. it's sure. like, oh That's now good. you have uh jaggy for plus. It's like all right, well <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if that's how that works, but okay. Uh, yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, there's master hunt <laughs> materials as well, so. Okay. Right. And so, so that's, that's I guess, something worth bringing up, too, is that, like, for this DLC, you need to have, like, reached a certain point in the base rise yeah, story to, like, start question. doing stuff, yeah. right? I think I... Because I remember they they did, like, a showcase, and it was one of those things where it's, like, to enter Monster, Monster Rise Sunbreak, you need to have reached this master rank in Tier 7 and, 80, and played, like, something, something. It's like they were making a... Like it's it's like good that they were like pointing it out, but they like made it in yes. a very ridiculous way. I'm like explaining it. Yeah, and they had to go out of their way like, to make sure you know. <laughs> um, for sure, for sure. Um, yes. I have to recut my items, which I forgot to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so you have to have beaten Monster Hunter Rise, which mm -hmm. is there's the main story, and then that's like the regular quests. And then they have a right. separate okay. series of quests called Hub Quests. That's like the like the post game, but also the real story. <laughs> um, so then you have to do all the hub quests up through rank seven. The so regular story quests go up through rank seven, then hub ranks go up through seven, and then after that, it's just like okay. you know, all bets are off. There's just infinite quests basically, uh, but the story oh, is you. over. Um, nice. There's actually like okay. an epilogue story they have to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And, and, and in fairness, like that's how pretty much all. A lot of up expansions to Monster Hunter in yeah. general have worked. Like that's exactly how Iceborne worked, if I remember correctly. It's like you had yes. to have beaten the main kind of story quest of base Monster Hunter World and like done mm -hmm. some of the post game stuff to even like start that whole thing. So this is pretty much following suit with that. Yeah. So the other big thing that they've added on the mechanical side, um, this whole little menu at the ba bottom here. Uh, was is new, so just a general UI update. There's like this new yeah. mechanic. Oh yeah. Um, where you can switch over your, they're called switch skills, and they are you know a variety of different types of special moves that you can do with the mm -hmm. wire bug system. Which if you forget the wire bug system, you got these wire bugs that you can use to like the ground to dodge, um, to to get around the environments. They're very useful. Um, and they look cool. 
use a little grappling hook for him. So the switch skills yeah. use the wire bugs uh, in most cases. So like that's a new switch skill. Um, okay. And you can you do them by holding the left trigger and hitting A. Uh, you can now hold the left trigger and hit X and A. You can see that kind of in the middle there. That will activate a switch skill swap. If you do this, like power up like that. And then you will go to a different switch skill. In this case, this is like the guard counter that you can do with those switch hacks. Oh, there's, there's a, your, your crab friend is really into your showcase here as well. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, you came to fight, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's here, he's ready to go. This is the Is that the Dermatar guy? Yeah, that's, that's your, your Dermatar. Shout out to his, his shell being a, like, giant Triceratops monster. Yeah, that's really rad. Yeah, he's pretty rad. It's like he just ate the face of the dinosaur. And I was like, you know, fuck, I'm gonna keep the trophy again. Yeah, this is my home now. <laughs> your, your skull. Uh, I was gonna show off the other, the big kind of thing with the switch skills, but I guess here we are. We're gonna have to do it live. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he was like, yeah, he's gonna say, yeah, he's like, you don't get a time to show off your new face and stuff. Um, so when you do those switch skill swaps, when I, you know, swap to whatever the other skill is, there's a window where you do a, Thanks, buddy. a strategic dodge, uh, but that is a little bit more mobile, and you can avoid attacks that you can't normally avoid. Um, so it's really important to kind of learn how to do it. Plus, when you, like, it just feels really good. This is very interesting. I like the mechanics of the like crab because you can move like a crab and like burger things. Yeah. And then the yeah. whole breeding thing is really cool. Yeah, like it's it's not your it's not like your, the typical like big dinosaur looking monster you usually yeah. see. So it is kinda interesting you can see like you have like this weird crab, just big crab mm -hmm. monster. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Like, there are crabs. Oh, I painted. I should watch my house. Uh, there, I think there are crab monsters in the game. Like, I'm trying to remember all of them. There's a lot in this game. Uh, but they're way more, like, bestial. This one is, like, very crab. Very crab. Right. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. Take a breather. Mm -hmm. Um, so this, this kind of switch skills let you customize a lot. Uh, of some of your moment-to-moment -moment attacks, and then you can kind of swap to a whole other set right on the fly, or in the middle of a fight, in a way that looks cool and feels good for you. Right. And can avoid special attacks that you can't avoid otherwise. Nah. Hopefully he doesn't. He then charges with the, the Triceratops now. Yeah, he charges with his big Triceratops. Um, can you like, can you like, I don't know if you fought this dude like enough really, because you're like still getting into the DLC, but have you seen like, can you like knock that thing's skull off its back and it can, like freak out or something? I've definitely That's tried, cool. Be cool. but I don't know. I imagine like yeah. with certain types of weapons that can do like that blunt damage. Yeah. Um, sure. Or, or not be deflected, That's like, like that you might be able to yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's like always the, the like the cool stuff I appreciate about like Monster Hunter is mm -hmm. like the being able to like break parts off of monsters or having them like or, or more with the more recent ones with World and this one where you can see yeah. like the monsters kind of interact with each other and all of a sudden it's like oh shit these two are just fighting yeah it's just this one rolled up somewhere it shouldn't have and then they're, now they're just messing each other up yeah and you can see it's like the change there's variables that enter the fray which is cool like yeah. 
Not that the monsters change those variables. So yeah. If parts get knocked sure. off, that becomes a variable to the fight. It's, uh, And there's also the, the possibility that other monsters will just show up. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yes. Yeah. In, in Rise, you have the, the Wyvern writing where if a, another monster gets stunned by a monster, you can jump on its back and then use it to attack the monster you're hunting, which is really fun. Cool. If we can use this, uh, this switch skill. Now is there is there like are there like is there like an actual new like zone you can go to or yeah, zones? Yeah, there are multiple new zones, I believe. I only, well, okay. Yeah, I, I know for sure. It's, there's like a kind of beachy jungle. That's the the first one, and then right there is like this castle area. I don't know if it's just those two, mm -hmm. but uh, those are two new ones I know of. We can we're gonna go to the um, the beachy jungle one. Now, we get up this dumb crab. Yeah. No. Very mean crab. Yeah. So I have a question because uh, YouTube or they know these posts in the state that is known for its crab. Um, yeah. Sure. Would you eat this crab? Uh, um, I would. Regrettably. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, yeah I'd, probably, I'd, probably, I'd probably give it give it a try. There's some big... He's got the uh, big meaty claws as, as a Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'd probably eat his claws at least. But that'd, probably, that'd, that'd be pretty alright. Um, other than that, though, like, admittedly, like, I know we just, like, even though we are a place that is big on crabs, I'm not, I would admittedly say I'm not the biggest crab person. Me either. Yeah. My dad is, though. Um, like, I yeah, prefer crab yeah, cake. Yeah, but, yeah, I, 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 I appreciate, like, those kind of things, but yeah, like, crab cakes are the other similar things that are not, like, I, I did all this work for, like, 30 minutes breaking up this crab to get, like, yeah. the tiniest bit of little meat Maybe. out of it. Like, yeah. I can only do that so much. <laughs> yeah, there's other kinds of people that I'm trying to have. So. Yeah, same. Like, turnip mahi, tuna, Salmon, fucking lobster. Sushi. I to, I'll take sushi. Grand, like that's like that's like sea, sea, kind of seafood adjacent. I would say. Yeah. Like, but sure. So, I'd, I'd take that generally more often than like yeah. crab. Okay. Yeah, like crab is good, but it's, it's like I said, it's too much work. It is a lot of work. I had crabs with my dad for Father's Day. It was lovely. Oh, was nice. Like, um, and I ate a whole ass half dozen crabs because you know what? I'm probably not yeah. gonna eat them again for like six years. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. That's, 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 that's me yeah, with crabs. That's a fair way. They were good. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, drift, time with, like, I'm gonna drift with my wolf real seafood. quick. Uh, and then. Goose. Gotta get, the, gotta get that wolf uh, drifting in. Wolf, wolf drift. drifting. Here's what, what all the kids are doing these days. It's really dangerous. Yeah, it's really dangerous. Especially in Tokyo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They gotta look out for these giant crabs. Yeah. With you know, if they drift back in time, what if they want to fly, they'll end up over here and they won't know what to do. The thing with uh, once you're in like the end game of Monster Hunter, it's just like beat this like, fast for a while. Yeah, these guys are, yeah, these guys yeah. are tanky. Once yeah, like... some of it's like, some of it's like also they're like a little bit more multiplayer. Mm -hmm. The later, the later fights are like more yeah. about that bunch of people in a group messing up a dude. Yeah, and you're yeah. basically jumping into more end game. Yeah. Um, but I, I am really surprised at how substantially different it feels. On top of like mm -hmm. the switch skill stuff is like. A lot of quality of life stuff where you can now add like a custom fast travel point on each map with one of your uh, your, your animal buddies, whether it's a Palomino or uh, I forget what the cat ones are called. Um, Calicos. Calico, yeah, thank you. Um, and then if you your inventory like because you only ever have your pockets when you're out in the field, and you can pick up mm -hmm. a lot of crafting materials and stuff throughout. 
uh, each area. If that ends up getting full, you'll just put it in a pouch on your Palamute, is what it'll say. It's like, and it'll go to your uh, extra storage when you go back. And it's like, all right, cool. Just let me pick up a bunch of stuff, you know? Yeah, that's, that's cool. Because there are, like, a good billion materials yeah. in these games to find. Plus, you get, like, this new story. I was telling Mike a little bit about this on Nintendo Land, so we should probably some time yeah. around this. Um, but this, yeah. this, I like that the story of this game is just the story of Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, yeah, uh, that's great. Which in Monster Hunter Rise, there is a, like, this monster rampage that happens in the village every 50 years, and you don't know why. Turns out it's monster causing it, surprise. Uh, and then in... The Sunbreak expansion, like these people from the kingdom, the neighboring kind of country, come over and they're like, yeah, we have like this whole crater that shows up every 50 years wild, right? <laughs> uh, turns out funny as hell. it's a monster. <laughs> oh shit, it's a monster. It made the crater. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like literally the yeah. same thing. And in the beginning, the, the chief is like, I know 50 years ago you were also dealing with some crazy shit. So when we were dealing with crazy shit 50 years ago, I know why you weren't there. Well, we could, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why we couldn't, we couldn't help each other because we were all just dealing with some shit. But it's like, yeah, man, I get it. All right. So I got... there you go. Another monster showed up too. It's like... Yeah, so I'm going to... Knock, the monster got knocked down into the other monster, so I can use this monster to hurt the monster that I'm yeah, hunting. Yeah, 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 now you can run into the other one. Uh, and it's cool, all the, if you hadn't seen it in Monster Hunter Rise before, all the, yeah. the wyverns, uh, all the monsters have, like, different attacks. And a special attack that they can do if you charge the meteor up, yeah, there's the Mounted Punisher, uh, and it's different for each one. And, some of them do a lot of damage, some of them are like fine. Like that one's fine. But, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was semi decent. Um, but it always knocks the monster on its butt, so that's always helpful. And he's down again. Yeah, you, yeah you, now you're really wrecking this crab. I really do like that new skill. Because it has like yeah, that fire attack. Cool. Um, just sends a shockwave forward. Very cool. A little bit faster to get out than the, the other kind of attack that you can do that does that shockwave. And he's off again. Yeah, he's booking it. This he's got, he's got, he's, this is, he's, he's, this him actually going back to his lair? You know, yeah. Like yeah. I think at this point we might be able to get him. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Ran and then ran the other way. He's juking you. Juking me. Monsters yeah. getting that game to the heart. Yeah, you can see like on the map, uh, the lower left, when he's grayed out, it means he's like yeah. underground or anything. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something. If we can. Oh, he's like, he turned around and he's like, electricity. He's like, oh no. Boom! He's not low enough health to trap yet. Yeah. Not low enough yet. Oh, dang. Big boy. Big boy stuff. Run away again. Oh. Oh. I love that, like, you have that wire bug to, like, get you out of a, yeah, a knock-up kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, air, like a recovery. Yeah. Because every monster really has, like, some kind of command grab or yeah. something that juggles you, and then you can use that yeah, to just get out of there. Launches you. It's like, I'll get out of the jail free card. So to speak. Where you can just see the bullshit coming and be like, I don't want to deal with that. Goodbye. And sometimes that's the best way to do it, it's just like get out of there. Yeah. Trying to charge up all my stuff. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't want any of it. <laughs> that little flick away animation's really good there. <laughs> yeah, he's like, get away from me, yeah.
Oh no. Oh yeah, this, this is a little crap. No, that's bad. Yeah. Uh oh. Alex, Alex you're sniffing me, bud. It's sniffing you. He's bubbling me. Okay, for he, sure. He's got that follow up smash. Yeah, trying to <laughs> trying to get y'all in one go. That's like where that wire bug is. You need it for us to get hit by the round one. Yeah. And you can see, like, at the bottom, there's a wire bug cooldown. So I yeah, just want yep. to wait a little bit. Oh, that's scary. They broke some of his parts. Yeah, oh yeah, you can see the... Oh, I think you broke some of his broken, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Broke, broke part of his shell, yeah. That's probably the most you can do. Yeah, it's probably the most you can do. Also, this guy feels like a second robot. I just want to put it out there. It does have that kind of... Um, from software badness to it. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, it's a normal crap, oh, like a normal crap. Oh, here's this giant fucking shell on the back. Yeah. Uh, guy's oh. Thank you, boy. Japanese person has joined the game. He has when he's joined you. <laughs> Hopefully that, yeah, that they can help you finish this big crab off. Oh, he's got the hunting horn. They know he's at homie. Oh, the horn time, yeah. They are. We're gonna play a song and absolutely wreck this, wreck this crab. Person is saying hello to me, I think. <laughs> nice. Nice. You <laughs> rang? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that probably makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that, that magic of Monster Hunter, just somebody just randomly showing up and helping out. It's still there. Showing up and you'd be like, hey, yeah. I shot do. this wolf, his big ass anime wolf sword. Yeah, it's got it going on it too. Wolf sword horn. Good. Looks cool. Yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely got that the Monster Hunter action. Mm -hmm. Always, yeah. always looks cool. I am like amazed at how much has changed since World. Like just right. Yeah. This game. yeah. I don't know if there were as substantial updates between like Try and Four Ultimate or whatever. You know. Sure, yeah. Yeah. It makes me curious how much like how different this feels overall. Nice. You put some health regen on you. That's that's helpful. Yeah, that is. Yeah, to that point, Alex, I'm really curious to what, how what World 2 looks like. Yeah, I uh, imagine... Yeah, where yeah, the series goes, for sure. Yeah. I imagine the Palamedes are for sure here to stay, because, like, honest to God, having, yeah. like, that, the mount, and then being able to move while sharpening, like, I never want to go back. Yeah. To the the mutes, even, even, like, the, like, like the, the bugs and the skills and stuff, like, I feel like they'll fight some kind of equivalent, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and just having more mobility and those kind of that kind of stuff seems like a big. They seem they seem like core core elements rather than like yeah. Just some some fun things to yeah. have for a little bit. For sure. I don't think it works without them. And the switch skills, obviously, like the whole part of this expansion is like that swap and the dodge that comes with it. So I I feel like they put so much work into it. Um, there's no way it's gonna come back even better than it is. We're 29 minutes into this. It's like, yeah, that, that sounds right. <laughs> there we go. There, there we go. Crab. crab well, with the help of uh, crab the best capture. friend. Yeah. Uh, they definitely. They liked. They liked you. They liked me. Mm -hmm. They really liked me. They did I was it. Playing hunting horn right now. It's great. Hell yeah. Now you crab. take the crab back to base and you live off of for you get enough food for a month. Yeah. Yep, now you gotta break off those legs. Yeah. Yeah, Put them absolutely. in a boil. Gonna get some hot butter on the side. It's gonna be a great time. There it is. All my loot. Take all. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, that's um, some stuff. I want to show one more thing. Then we can uh, okay. wrap it out. But the there's like 
even more than just all those mechanical updates. They added it so now you can take NPC hunters with you uh, on hunts. Yeah. Um, so you can just that's, have that's cool. party members with you, basically. And I, I really appreciate it because A, if they faint, it doesn't count to your faint total. Um, nice. And B, Excellent. they aren't just like, they don't just help you fight. They'll like run off, get other monsters, ride in on the monster and like attack and stuff. Like they definitely put oh, in wow. some work. That's cool. Uh, which is really cool. So I think so they're, they're straight up just like actual full partners rather than mm -hmm. like a limited. Yeah. And that's, that's cool. That's cool too. Cause it lets you like take on some higher tier stuff without necessarily like having to potentially deal with random humans on the internet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if you take them with you, you can still be joined multiplayer. So you can have them with you oh, okay. multiplayer cool. without, I think it's just, they, they take up one of the party slots. So you can only have like three people join, um, sure. which is awesome. Uh, I think, Okay, yeah, you'll, you'd have to, I guess, bring them with you to some kind of menu. I just did the first hunt, which is this one that I tried to launch here. Um, with uh, one of the new characters. And it was very cool. She just came riding in on a, on a poison monster and just poisoned the monster we were fighting. I was like, hell yeah, let's go. That's really cool. Uh, but yeah, I think that's, outside of that, I'm trying to think of all the other little probably more little things but that's those are the big bullet points of sunbreak at least from the early game sunbreak yeah i'm sure i'm sure yeah there's tons of yeah yeah mon other monsters and stuff yeah mm -hmm. this loading it seems it's like it's it, it yeah it's it seems like you know they they did the thing they kind of do pretty well with monster hunter where, where they kind of have that base game and then do a big new expansion that adds yeah. like a basically like a second old game yeah it feels yeah, like a, a, a second like a, game a whole bunch of stuff uh it feels like monster Hunter rise um, too at least so far um yeah i don't know how many more quests I, th I think it goes up to master rank seven or eight at least okay um and i'm on That's pretty high two so and i'm, I'm like yeah. four hours in i'd say so yeah there's uh okay. there's a lot to do early on it just seems like there's a lot of just monsters from base game rise except for the crab guy the fire probably the mm -hmm. breathing monkey dude but uh i'm excited to see more of the new stuff as the game goes on yeah see some see some of the newer monsters mm -hmm. yeah thanks for hanging out oh cool fighting some monsters cool. guys thanks for showing us alex of oh, course cool. yeah and uh thanks for watching everybody we love you bye ciao bye.